Hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome back to Wholesome Craft. It's been about a year since I last uh, put up a video on this series, and a lot of that just happens to do with the fact that I got really busy and kind of just procrastinated editing this because it took a little while. Uh, but this is actually a completed series, and I, I just... <laughs> I waited too long and then it was kind of awkward and then I'd just been sitting on the footage and I don't want to delete it so I'm just going to start putting it out. I'm in a bit of a lull and I might as well finish some things while we're in it. So I guess with this, this picks up right after episode 27. I've gone back and relabeled all of the previous episodes uh, with proper numbering so if you get uh, confused with where you are, uh, it's there. Also I will be leaving a link to the whole playlist in the description below so if you want to catch up and watch the whole thing, go check that out. Anyway, we've got about... Eh, 14 episodes left give or take and then we'll be done and then I should have another minecraft series on its way kind of soonish Once this is done I just didn't want to get it up before wholesome craft was out because that was just gonna be weird Eventually, I'd like to figure out a proper automation so that I can just uh, Have two pure daisies running just crafting not infinite amounts of Living wood, but you know close on close enough Hey, welcome Stump Friends and Associated Raiders. How are you guys doing? Let's see, much of Patani automation will require in-world placing of items and blocks. That's that's a pain in the butt. I don't want to do that. I like my automation to be full, hearty, and I don't know. Anyway, yeah, what were you guys up to today? Uh, or what were they up to today? Because I assume Stump has probably other things to do tonight. Should have gone with the mechanism then. Everybody said get the fancy armor, so I'm getting the fancy armor. Okay. Demos and Jackbox. Ooh. I haven't played Jackbox Party Pack 7 yet. I'm assuming that's what they were playing. I'd like to at some point. So how do I want to do this one? Where do I put the mana pool? I could buy now. Now somebody said... Panel mode. Oh. Line mode, cube mode, panel. Okay, these are different. Is it something like that? No. How do I make a mana pool? That is how I make a mana pool. Oh, whoops. I guess I have two mana pools. It was just being kind of laggy. Well. I guess we're going to need the mana spreader too. Okay, so we need one gold bar... And we're going to need just a pedal. It's five? Oh, right. It's this thing. There we go. Or, no, this required living wood. Okay, so we got to get that from upstairs. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's see. So for those of you that are just joining us, we are on the Wholesome Craft... Minecraft server, which is part of the Wholesome Verse, uh, which is a YouTuber and streamer group that I'm a part of. And we've got a big community server, and I more or less have decided for myself that I'm going to absolutely ruin the economy by getting into as many alchemical and magical, uh, I guess, mod packs as I possibly can. And so currently I'm messing with Batania. I've already managed to do mystical agriculture and refined storage. And so I'm hoping to set up some kind of crazy magic resource gathering thing until I can get Terra Steel Armor. Or Mana Steel Armor, so I look real pretty. Okay, uh, let's see. Nope, wrong button. There we go. Okay, so Living Wood. Bit Mana Spreader. Cool. So the question is, do I put it in the corners or do I put it... Because where do I put my mana pool? I was thinking of having, like, a mana pool here. And then a mana spreader here. Hopefully this works. I don't know. Let's just get some coal. Eh. Stock of it. I've still got my wand of the forest. Do I have to have a mana spreader? You have losses. 
Yeah, I'm not super, super interested. I think I wrecked the server. Or just disconnected me. Okay. It looks like it can pick it back up. It looks like it was a minor issue at best. If even. Okay. Well, all things considered, let's go real basic here. Let's see. I'm gonna place the spreader before the flower. Okay. I'm gonna go real basic. We're just going to do that. Okay, so that end of flame is connected. Hopefully the... Uh, I'm going to give it a bit of space just so I can see the whole process. Now link them. So that's linked. There we go. That's, that's really weird that it is just, I mean, it's fine, I just, this bothers me. I don't, I don't like how it's, I don't know if it's not a perfect square anymore, but it's like, it's just rotated slightly. Okay, so I'm gonna start with coal. Whoops. Okay, it sent some mana. Well, okay, click the pool with the wand. Let's see. You just need eight more endo flames and it takes a long time. Hooray! Uh sure. Okay, let's uh let's finish this upstairs area. I'm gonna hook it up with some item pipes. So it can process a one item at a time, which is why aether fuel blocks are the way to go. Figured as much. And mana pool holds a lot of mana. Interdiction torches mess with the beams. Shoot. Is that why it's missing? Because, yeah, I, I saw it flying off... Is that working? Okay. bring up a good point. I totally forgot about the underground ones. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to keep this area incredibly well lit. All things considered, this is probably my favorite Chipsel song. Interstellaria was such a weird duck of a game. 
Really enjoyed it, though. Okay, there we go. That should be better. Yeah, totally forgot about the stuff underground. Okay. So... How do I want to design this? Because ideally I'm going to need a lot of flowers. What is the range that a f that the flowers will connect? Two, three, four. Sixteen blocks, more than four. Okay. Let's use some torches here. So I can count. Okay, so I've got six. Okay. So this is the mid midpoint here. Kind of divide it up in this manner. You can make a Batania monocle and see. Okay, I'll have to. I'll have to give that an ogle in a bit. Okay, so that's four on each side. I don't know how much of this stuff we're going to need, but I'm fine with leaving a lot of room, especially if I'm going to have to do this a bunch. Okay. Oh, uh, question. Mana spreader. Can it be EMC'd? Nah. Doesn't make sense. It'd be just a little too easy otherwise. Alright, let's extend all this out. Just let that go. I'm gonna need to make more of these. Yeah, the reason is the living wood. Yeah, I know. I'm also going to have to make some more endo flames here. Oh, right. That's that was the other thing I was going to quick work on. Let's uh let's get some birches. I'm going to use this section up here as kind of a workspace. Lower area is going to be for farming. Um, but I'm going to put another couple of cauldrons up here. I wonder if I can actually have the cauldrons autofill with water pipes. Probably not, but it'd be nice to hook them up to a, a kitchen sink all the same. Okay. Is it a cauldron? I forget. Let's see, where are they? There we go. Oh, it's an apothecary, and yes! Yes, I can. I never grabbed my apothecary from downstairs. Whoops. Yeah, no. Actually, absolutely can make more of these. Just never bothered. I was kind of assuming a lot of the stuff in this mod, mod pack was not reproducible. Serves me right for just assuming. Erp, snap. Snap. Come on. There we go. Easy to just fly. Okay. A couple of these? Try getting them to autofill. Damn it. 
Do I have to make another sink? I... You know what? We... I'm just gonna go find my other... My other sink. There we go. Uh, let's see, I put it up here. Here it is. There we go. Uh, okay, sink back down. Water is good. Okay, so four endo flames to one mundane spreader seem to be your sweet spot. Good to know. Okay. Sink and pipe. We want to do basic fluid pipe? Yeah. I guess I might as well just grab a whole stack. Inventory's getting a bit cluttered though. Let's clear out just a smidge. Because there's not too much of a smidge that I can clear. Kitchen sink. <laughs> you know, I was saying let's clear it out, then I immediately put away the pipes. I'm a dingle hop. Short and stout. Here is my water pipes. Nah, don't look like it. So I guess I'm gonna have to manually fill these. Maybe there's a way to auto auto fill them, but I'm I'm betting not. That's okay. If there's a way in this mod pack to get an overflowing water water bucket. Big water bucket, heavy water bucket, ever tied amulet. I mean it's expensive, but here we go. Yeah. So six water buckets, three dark matter. There we go. Let's just toss this here. And hopefully this will do what I want. Okay. So right click to fill tanks and cauldrons. All operations are completely free. On pedestal creates snow and storms. Attempts to rain every second. Well, one way or another, this should work. I guess we'll find out fairly quickly. So we want to get... Red pedal. Light gray. Okay. Right, and we're going to need seats. Oh, shoot. Uh, how do I want to organize this one? Stack of stairs. This way I can actually get up to these. There we go. That seems kind of reasonable. Now let's get silly. This actually... You know what? This actually looks nice. I take it back. It's not silly. Two, one, one. One, two, one, two. Two, one... Yep, works perfectly. All right. So do I want to make... Do I want to make a couple of these? I might as well. Uh, let's see. 
and then seeds, seeds, seeds. Shift right click with empty hand for recipe repeat. You mean on these? You sure? Okay, water first. Whoops. Oh no. Well, that's inconvenient. I don't have an easy way to get rid of this stuff. Alright, let's give that another shot. Okay, one, two, one, two, bam. Oh, no! Why is there a block in there? Get it. Shoots. I have too much garbage in my inventory. It's making this... Incredibly annoying. Okay. For the last time... Okay, right-click with an empty hand to add back the last recipe. Okay, that's cool. It's still kind of inconvenient. I appreciate it. But it's kind of inconvenient. Okay, how many of these do we have? We got 16. That's more than enough endo flames at this point. Okay. Well, one way or another, that's good. Wait, where that? Oh, the water wrecked my torch setup. Why is everything so mean to me today? It's fine. Stupid everything. It wants me to have an inconvenient time. That can't be it. No. It's that one. Okay. So let's let's go collect this for a moment. That should be enough. Grab a bunch of gold, move the Philosopher's Stone here. Actually, in retrospect, we can we can just get rid of the Evertide Amulet. No sense holding onto it for a while. Okay. On here. Okay, that's... That should be set up perfectly. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should have actually spaced these out better. Probably isn't going to be that, that big of a deal, but it's definitely not going to be that clean. Then again, it looks like they just kind of absorb whatever is nearest. Okay, well, doesn't matter. My main goal is just to see this thing fill up. Oh, gosh darn it. here too. Yep. Okay, I think it's working now. 
Yep. Now it's working properly. Everything is good. Now we just have to properly light these buildings so that we don't get absolutely inundated in critters. I think as long as it's far enough away, we shouldn't have to worry too much. Okay, so why don't we... Why don't we get a little pr pretty here? Let's get some magic fence. And some lanterns. We've also got it unfriendly again. Who the hell are you? I thought you were supposed to be rare. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Okay, so magic fence, lantern. I'm just gonna honestly put these all over the place. Now let's let's do this with a cherry fence instead. I don't have enough cherry. All right. I'll show you. That should be good. Cherry fence again. We only need one. Okay, that should be good. This should look. This should look nice. Can I put a lantern on top of that? I can, but it looks extraordinarily dumb. Okay, that should all be lined up. Interesting. Uh, yeah, okay, let's, let's spread that out a bit. I'm very committed to this, for reasons. Okay. And yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna kind of fly around this immediate area, just putting some of these down. Because it looks really nice. And this should ke keep an amount of the mobs off of my head. Possibly, quite literally. They're, they're of no threat to me, and they never have been. But the inconvenience of just keeping them away from my stuff and not knocking me around... That's... that's worth it alone. Uh, let's see, pickaxe. No, the axe is actually faster for picking these things up, maybe. Or no, it's just slow no matter what I'm doing and what I'm wielding. think this is enough? Maybe. I'll put a couple down here. I don't really have to be anywhere specific. I like to keep them kind of organized, but ain't gonna work that well. chicken. Chicken is well lit now. And it will never leave. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Okay. Uh, let's see if I lit this upper area. Not that well. There'll probably be some bad boys that still make it up in here, but this is fine. Okay. 
Uh, let's see. While we're here, do I have any wood? No. I don't have any stone. I put it all away. I'll make do. So we have mana. That's the important part. It looks like it's still burning the coal, too. What I probably should ju just do is completely disregard any sense of balance here and just chuck some really high-end fuel into this immediate environment. Yeah, let's just do that. How expensive are you? Worth a fair bit. Uh, let's see. Let's make sure all of these are connected. They are. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Why did something blow up? Oh no, that's them lighting. All right, there we go. Hey, chat, you guys are getting a little back CD. I know what I'm doing. I might not be going that fast on this, but that's fine. Holy shit, this thing holds a lot. We'll come back to that later. Okay, I'm probably going to have to manually handle that. Uh, let's see how much... Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Check this out. Bam, EMC. That's more than I've had all game. So that should bur burn for a time. So now that we've got mana, it took forever. It took two hours to get mana. Mostly my fault. Now what do we do? Runic Altar. Runic creation is a complex topic, but an important one for the advancement of any botanist career. <laughs> it's a bit of an overstatement. Ever, or understatement, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> Most botanists, literal magicians. However, this mode of crafting requires a firm grasp on the concepts of mana manipulation used. Before proceeding further, re a read through of the important entries, those in italics, and that section of the Lexica Botanica might prove helpful. Runes are vital components of complex magical devices or flora created using a runic altar. To use a runic altar, start by placing e via either a right click or a simple toss your components of the rune you want to cr create upon the altar. Okay, but I'm going to need a mana pearl or a mana diamond. Point a moina, mana, sp moina spreader. Mana spreader with a supply of mana at the altar. And let the mana flow. Your wand will show you the progress of the transfer. It should be apparent when the altar has received enough mana. When that happens... Just uh, just drop or right click a piece of living rock on the altar and hi. Okay, so we got a bunch of runes. This might not actually be something I'm immediately into yet. Why are some of these just like kind of worrying sounding? Rune of lust. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Functional flora, flower shrinking, modulating delay. Boy, howdy. All right. Automated with a hopper, open crate, and a pressure plate. Oh, to get these things fuel? I'll look into that in a little bit. Okay, I am back. I feel a lot better. And our mana pool is... Like an eighth full. All things considered, that's not so bad. Alright, uh, let's see. So, you know what? Let's see if I can skip some... Skip some of this. Oh, I should really make some blue glazed terracotta. That stuff looks great. With the magenta. Uh, I'll leave it for later. Okay. So it looks. Mm, it looks like it's too early for me to look into Terra Steel. Dang it. What about Mana Steel? Mana Steel, steel ingots, Batani Infusion. Oh! Actually, so I can make Batan. Uh, I can make Mana Steel. We can even get Man of Steel seeds. I'm gonna need four iron, and we can actually do this. Okay, so I've 
properly enchan enchanted these. We'll leave them later. Okay, Terra Steel needs half a mana pool of mana each. Boy, howdy. Except for it's not showing up on the mana pool. Uh, you know what? Here. Is there is there a recipe list that I can look at for the mana pool? Okay, here we go. Show all mana infusion recipes. There's 40 pages of this, so this might take a little bit to look through. A lot of it seems to be just kind of basic and boring. There's mana glass, which might be interesting. We can convert thonks into tiny thonks. A cookie into a biscuit of totality. What a name. Let's see. Diamond block a diamond into a block of mana diamond. But it's gonna require a considerable amount of juice to pull that off. Oh, gas tear into an ender pearl. Not necessary for me at this point. Cactus into a slime ball. That actually would have been lovely to have a long time ago. This might actually help me with a lot of things. Mana pearl. Unfortunately, a lot of these, yeah, don't have an EMC value, which doesn't surprise me too much. Upper Hawk Petite. Let's see, there's the Mana Diamond. We should probably look into what, what's required for that. Oh! Snow Block into Ice, if I need to go that direction. Mana Powder. A Force Relay. Huh. But I'm not seeing the Terra Steel in there. I'm just gonna keep looking at things as we go by for a moment. So you can look it up in the book. I'm not entirely sure if I can yet. Elven Trade. Ooh! The heck is Elven Trade? That sounds fascinating. Elven Gateway Core. <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll leave this for later. That's interesting. Portal uses Terra Steel to construct one and get a mana to open and keep open. Gotcha. I, well, elves later. Okay. I think I'm going to have to look at the book to figure out how to make Terra Steel. So, mana pool. Accepts mana for mana spreaders. Any adjacent ones will, will fill it automatically. All functional floor require a mana pool to draw power from. Mana pools come in two types. A weaker, diluted variety, which stores a very small amount of mana in a normal variety, which stores 100 times more. Okay. Mana pool. Diluted mana pool. Diluted mana pool is useful as a small buffer for a flower or a system that doesn't use much mana. Tossing resources into a mana pool will infuse them. One of the forest can read mana levels. A redstone comparator can also... Okay. Mana steel ingots can be crafted. Mana pearl, mana diamond, mana glass, mana infused string, biscuit of totality. Mana tablet. Using mana spreaders to transport mana is all well and good, but there's other ways of getting stuff around too. Mana tablet is a portable item that can carry mana within itself. Okay, so useful for carrying mana around in my inventory. Mana star. Oh, interesting. So this is, just tells me if it's gaining or losing. Combining a mana spreader with a piece of redstone, a pulse mana spreader is created. Keep in mind that it won't shoot a burst. Okay. Mana Detector, Flux Field, Lenses, Splitter, Void, Mana on Rails, Mana Pool. Okay, let's leave that. Ah, shoot. I'm going to just look at a lot of this stuff. I'm assuming most of this is just redstone programming, which I'm going to stay very far away from for a while. So it increases the speed. 
So len lenses increase the effects here. Yeah, if we want to start spending sending mana from forever. Allows it to bounce off walls. What? I... Boy, howdy. These seem like things for probably never. Like, I'm sure they're amazing, and there are functions for them, but... Eh? Okay, mana manipulation... Introduction to mana. I'll figure it out. Sparks. Huh. It's placing a spark over a mana pool or another... Okay. So you can put a spark over for some reason. Interesting. And they can be duplicated for whatever reason. Natural apparatus, hovering hourglass, open crate, alchemizing with mana, brewing stands, alchemy catalyst, which might be necessary, but I didn't see it. All I care about is getting the Terra Steel. After that, everything else is just gravy and interesting discovery and nothing more. Mana pylon. Mana pylon is a structure that pulls natural energies from the earth and uses them to power enchanting objects. Okay, so mana pylons are just replacements for bookshelves that look rad as hell. Okay, so I need terrest terrestrial agglomeration? Oi. Terra Terra Bozu? Wait, what? Amulets that ward away bad weather. Okay. Spreading turn stable. Living wood altar. Just cast men at things. Okay. Challenges. Auto Pure Daisy. Cobble generator, flower farm, mana battery. Okay, leave that for later. Ender artifacts. So, effectively, it's a ridiculous dagger that just wrecks Enderman. Ah, hand of Ender just is an Ender pouch. Force relay. When one of these is pushed by a piston, the block is it is bound to is pushed the exact same way. Huh. Ender Overseer. This is just so anything that is specifically anything that looks at it gets triggered. Okay, invisibility cloak. I know uh I know Orbital's got an invisibility ring. I should mess with that. Tiny planet. Was nearby mana burst into orbit and is where? Huh. Tectonic girdle. No knockback. Okay. Sojourner's sash. Uh, let's see. Use a trickle of mana to buff movement speed, jump height, and fall damage. Some of these would be interesting to play with, but not really not really my thing. I don't think we're at this stage yet. Unfortunately, looking at this. Like, I don't think I can look into Terra Steel yet. I can? Okay. It, the book isn't telling me about it at the very least.
Okay, everyone's saying I can. I'm just not seeing it in the book. Okay, so let's go back to just investigating this. So what else do we have? So people were saying... Plate. Terrestrial agglomeration plate. Okay, so we're gonna need some runes for this, a block of man of steel, and, and some lapis lazuli blocks. I don't have the high quality fuel blocks. Well, let's fix that. I believe it's that, yeah? Yeah. Okay, fuel blocks. We need eight. That should give me mana for days. That should last. <laughs> 